Hey there, what's up everyone? It's Raj from 3CB Performance. I'm the owner and doctor of physical therapy. Today's video I'll be going over why heel striking gets a bad rap. Well, but in reality, it's commonly overstriding. That is the major culprit for increasing injury risk. So, as always, feel free to comment or leave questions below and like subscribe and like if you like the information. So today's topic, like I they say is here, heel strike, no big deal. Overstriding, that's definitely a big deal. And there's four main reasons why. The first aspect is when you're overstriding, it leads to decreased force absorption in your legs. And the reason for that is because when you're overstriding, you, your knee tends to be more extended, your foot is dorsiflexed, and your, and your hip is more flexed. So your, your joints in your lower body are closer to end range. When your joints are closer to end range, they're less capable of absorbing force and your muscles are now in a disadvantaged position to absorb force. And muscles are your major shock absorber. So that means you're now getting more force into your joints, which over time can lead to issues. Now, the second aspect is when you're overstriding, it actually leads to increased vertical displacement, also known as bounce stride to stride. So bounce, you know, is, is how much you're kind of going up and down stride to stride. And the higher you're going, the more force you're landing with. So it's increasing the force that's going through your body. The third aspect is an increased braking mechanism. The farther away your foot lands from your center of mass, your hips in this case, the less it's able to use what is called a, a passive recoil. Normally when your foot hits the ground, there's passive recoil that helps propel it forward. The farther that foot is away from the body, the, the less it's able to utilize that, which creates a braking mechanism, which leads to decreased effic efficiency and economy of gait. The last aspect is there's increased stress on your hamstrings. And I, I mentioned this specifically because hamstring issues tend to be very, very common with runners. And so, as I had mentioned before, when you're overstriding and your knee is overextended, your hamstring is now also more tensioned. And the hamstring, right before your foot hits the ground, right before what we call initial contact, your hamstring has to activate and decelerate that lead leg. So when your knee is straightened and extended and the hamstring now has more stress on it, over time it can lead to hamstring irritation. So something I, oh, I commonly recommend for individuals who have, who have hamstring issues is I always say try to decrease your stride length, aka increase your running cadence or a step rate. And it, it can sometimes be an easy fix to clear up some of those issues. So. That does it for this video. In the next video, I'll be going over some tips on actually how to increase your, uh, your running cadence, AKA decrease your stride length. So as always, feel free to leave questions or comments below and subscribe to the video, excuse me, subscribe to the channel if you like the information. And if you're interested in more detailed information or if you wanna to talk to me personally, you can head on over to my site at 3cbperformance.com. Until next time.